Um, great victory for our guys. I, I thought, um, you know, we've been struggling rebounding the ball. We've been struggling um, getting to the free throw line. And this is the first game in, in a number of games uh, where we out-rebounded the opponent. We got to the foul line um, more times, made more foul shots than they did. Uh, and that's critical. Um, you know, the first half wasn't pretty offensively, especially the first, whatever, seven, eight minutes. But I, I thought our defense really carried us. And that's what we've been preaching to the guys. It's, you know, offense is fickle. You never know. Uh, but the defense has to be the staple. And I thought we defended them. You know, we made some errors. They hit three threes at the end of the half. Um, but if we hadn't defended, we could have been down by 20 at halftime. Um, in the second half, I thought our, our offense, our defense created some, some offense for us, uh, get some steals, um, open shots, layups. Um, I thought Anquan was, gave us a big lift. Um, I thought Moses coming off the bench hit some big, big shots. Uh, Anwar played really good defense on, uh, on the big guy. Um, you know, Barry did a really good job on, on Burton, who's you know, one of the best players in our league. Um, so I thought it was, a, it was a team victory. I think our guys you know, are learning. Uh, we got to still get better offensively. We're going to get better you know, in, all, in all facets. But I, I, I thought the effort was, was, was there the whole time. And great crowd. Um, you know, we really appreciate what, what they do for us. Um, but it was a really good um, win against a really good opponent. Coach, 48 second half points for you guys. What were you guys able to do? Say it again. 48 points in the second half for you guys. So how, how were you guys able to do? I just thought, we, you know, our defense created some offense. We made some shots. We got to the foul line. Uh, we were just so stagnant in, um, in the first, especially the first eight minutes of the game. I don't know if we scored a bucket. I know we got some foul shots in the technical foul and so forth. But um, we, we flowed a little bit better in the, you know, we got out in the break a little bit. And that's what we need to do. We need to get some offense off of our defense. And I thought we did that. This question is for any of the players. And at 17 to 3 run that you team made midway through the second half, what do you think propelled your team to that to take the lead? I think just the energy we had on those, um, the timeouts, just talking and just trying to win the four minute mini game. Um, you know, just, just being tough and, and just coming together and just knowing that, that we need this one and that we want this one. So. Daryl, same question. What do you think propelled your team to take the lead in the second half at 17 to 3? Uh, we locked in on defense. Uh, the thing we like to do is get three stops in a row. We just kept trying to get stops, kept trying to get stops. And like Moses said, every time we came back from the media timeouts, you know, we were winning those. So that just propelled us, gave us the energy that we needed. Coach, what was the approach there to try to slow down Burton? <laughs> it's really no approach. You know, it's, it's a team thing. Um, you know, you got to go over ball screens. When he has the ball, you, you know, you try to get into the gaps. Um, you know, when he posts up, you try to double him to keep him off the glass. Um, I, I thought we did a decent job of, of not fouling him. You know, he goes to the foul line nine times a game. And he went, you know, he went seven times. You know, so we got him below his average. Um, we cupped him off the offensive glass. Um, it's just he's a really good player, you know. And so um, I, I thought Barry did a good job, especially in the first half, um, you know, fronting him and making it hard. Um, but it, you don't really stop him. You know, you just try to do the best job of trying to contain him and make it hard for him. Yeah, he's played really well. Um, you know, he, he's a five man that we're trying to convert into a four man, and you know, there's been some growing pains. Um, you know, but he's long, he's athletic, um, he can block shots, he can rebound. You know, and he's he's just got to play to his strengths, and um, and he did that today. And you know, one of the reasons why we won. You know, he got ten rebounds, he had a big block. Um, you know, and that's what we need from him. Mark, what do you like about Moses coming off the bench? Firepower. You know, we, we're, we're not a great offensive team, um, but we need to have somebody coming off the bench that can give us a lift. Um, you know, and I thought Anwar did a really good job defensively. Anquan did a good job defensively. Um, but we need somebody coming off the bench that can put the ball in the basket. And Moses in the last, you know, four or five games has, has really done a good job. Daryl, those first five minutes, the team was scored. Both scoreless. Was it frustrating out there, or was it a matter of just keep pushing? You knew after the whole game. What was it like to go through those first five minutes? No, nah, I mean we knew it was going to be a matter of grit, so we knew that it wasn't uh, it wasn't getting it done on the offense end. So we had to lock in on defense. So as long as we stay locked in on defense, they weren't scoring and we weren't scoring. So it was going to keep the game close. Daryl, Evans made that run there down the stretch, comes out of minute and a half left. You hit that three there to kind of uh, get the momentum back. Can you just kind of touch on that play and kind of how you were able to uh, get the space to hit that shot and, and stop that run? I mean, um, 
I mean, it just came down, so I had the ball in my hands for like eight seconds. So I knew we had to make a play. And I just got a little bit of space and shot it. Went in. Moses, what's, what's been the difference for you these last several games compared to kind of a, a little bit of a slow start for you to start mm. the season? I mean, just, you know, coming in and understanding my role and what I need to do to help my team win, help help us be a better team offensively, defensively. Um, and just trying to come in and be a leader and, you know, just be a, be a professional at, at, at what I what I try to bring to the table. So, mm-hmm. was missing the first game and being down the first game did that have any effect on the start of the season for you? At all? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say that. It's just you know, um, coming into a new team and, and trying to understand like what coach wants from us and, and what what I, what's needed of me. And so it just came down to that. And once I started to get that, things started to click. What do you like coming off the bench? Do you, do you like coming off the bench or how does that? Work? I'm just. Just whatever it takes for me to help my team. So, coming off of uh, Rhode Island, disappointing loss. What was the mindset for the coaches and the players heading into today's game? Uh, it seemed like a stalemate at first, but you know, with strategy going in and uh, sticking, as you said, um, being real, holding the grit there. Just it, you know, we have the 24-hour rule. You know, we we had a chance. We got down by 11. You know, I, I thought our guys really fought, and you know, be on the road no matter who you're playing to have a chance. Have a shot at the game at the end to win the game. That's what you're looking for, and it just didn't happen. You know, you're not going to win every game. Um, and our guys, you know, we had the 24-hour rule. You know, and we came back, and we knew, in order to, to compete in this league, you had to protect your home court. You know, and and you know, we that's that was the whole mindset. Coach, you talked about protecting your home court. You guys are eight and one at home this year. So mm-hmm. How have you been different from the rest of the year? But you know, 70 percent of home games are won by the home team. You know, you're just more comfortable. You know, you look at the crowd. You know, they, they give you energy. You just play better at, at home. That's, you know, when you play on the road, you're down 10 nothing before the game starts. That's how much better you have to play. Um, and so, you know, it's, you look at the games that, that are played today. You know, most games are going to be won by the home team. That's just how it is. Anything else? All right, thanks. Thanks. Thank you.